Okay, folks, I am so excited to share with you guys how I made this wooden beaded plant hanger. Whoops. <laughs> which is amazing. I really, 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 really love it. Um, also below, just in case you are addicted to wooden beads like me, I will include my video on how I made this wooden beaded um, garland, which was really fun and it's great to have around the house. I just put it in different places and it just adds like a lot of character and style. And what I really love about just using wooden beads and creating home decor with it is that it's like super simple and all you need is string or some type of twine and beads. That is it and a little bit of imagination. It's so amazing. Uh, know that my channel has all kind of craft videos, just not wooden beads. I have journaling videos, I have productivity videos, and then I have the Studio 78 podcast where I interview uh, women that are entrepreneurs. It's audio only, but great stuff, great women doing amazing things. Anywho, uh, if that's your jam, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and add um, your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and to find out if you uh, actually decided to make your own plant hanger. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I wanted it to hang 24 inches. So I measured out eight pieces of 72 inch string. Once I had that string, I found the center and then I tied a knot. So then once you tied a knot, you have eight little pieces of string hanging down and then you separate it into four sections and the four sections have two pieces of twine each. Now I am figuring out my design and it's important to kind of think through it. I'm just using um, a little tray that I also use to make jewelry and I'm just kind of like thinking through like what I want the designs to be. So you see I have four different sections because you're even though there's like eight pieces of string hanging down for the first part of your design you're going to double up on your piece of twine, string, whatever you're using, and the bead is gonna go through two pieces of string. So you have four sections, and the four sections have two pieces of string each. Anywho, so I have figured out what I want as my design. And now that I know what I want, I am going to start beading each section. So I've done the first section, I'm now going to the second section. Now the third section, remember I'm, uh, I have two pieces of twine going through the beads, and then my fourth section. And so I have the first part of the design done or almost done. <laughs> and then I'm about to start planning out kind of like the middle part of the planter. Of course, you don't have to do this. You can make the entire planter the same design. Everybody has a different way of doing it or how they want it to look. I wanted mine to have three different sections, like a top section, a middle section, and then a third section is a design around the pot. And so right now I'm just kind of working through that middle section now and just remember to continue to just test it to just make sure that you have enough cord left in order to tie a knot at the bottom of your um, design once you're done, which is why you saw me bring my pot into the equation. All right, so now I'm double checking again just to see if I have the right length or if I need to add a few more beads on before I get to kind of like that third part of the design. And so with the third part of the design that you see me working on now, I'm now using all eight pieces of string. You see that? So I've split the string and I've beaded um, eight pieces of string. Now here's where it gets a little complicated, so it's hard to articulate, so please just watch what I, I do. So you had the four strings or, you know, four areas before that each had two strings each. And then now that we're doing around the pot, we split those into eight strings. But now we are about to join 
the four sections that we originally had together by taking one of the strings from one of the area areas and joining it with another section. So you'll see once I put this green bead on, I've just joined the first two pieces of string together. You see that? Now I'm going to take the string of the second one and I'm going to join it with the third string, but only one section of the third string that I've split. You see? And then the third string, I'm going to join that second piece of the third string with one of the pieces from the fourth string. And right now I just realized that um, I miscounted, so I'm just about to add like a little small bead. Don't know how I did that, but glad I caught it because we don't want anything to be lopsided. But okay, so now I am about to join that with a green bead. And then you continue to go around until all of the different sections are connected together. And as you start to do it, it will make sense because you know that you need to um, connect one of the split strings with a split string of the other section. And you go around so you can make a little bit of a circle. So you see, um, I'm doing kind of like that bottom side just to make sure that I've gone down all the way. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just pushing everything down um, because I just want to make sure everything is nice and tight. I want to make sure everything is even. And um, I'm going to just use the top of this pot just to make sure that I went around in the circle correctly and that each one is joining another section. So you see how, how like, okay, I'm like this makes sense. This works. It, they're all connected the way they should be. So just kind of like double check yourself before you go to the next phase of the design. So the next phase of the design, I'm going to bead each one of the eight pieces of twine again. And after those eight pieces are beaded, I'm going to do the same thing where I connect one part of section one with one part of section two. The second part of section two, I'm going to connect with section three. And so it, as long as you do it slowly, it'll make sense and you'll, you'll be fine. All right, so now just to, to end the plant hanger, I'm just going to add a few more beads to the two strings that I just joined together with that medium wooden bead. So I'm just adding just a couple more beads to the ends because I um, just wanted the, the larger beads to sit on the bottom of the pot. So I'm just connecting. So you see, I'm just, just adding to the string. And perfect. And now, I am going to join each of those sections together with a large bead at the end. So you see I'm putting all of those pieces of string together, all eight, string, twine, what have you. And I am going to push the large bead through. And um, before I not put a knot at the end, I am going to just make sure everything is lined up and good to go. Um, sometimes the string, I told you, like the end will get uh, kind of frayed. So that's why I was having a little bit of a hard time getting a couple of the, the pieces through. 
Okay, so that's it. I'm just pushing everything down before I add a knot to the end. You see that my tassel at the end is going to be really short, which I don't mind, but that's why at the beginning of the video I was saying if you want something to be a little bit longer, definitely make your string longer. Okay, instead of 72, maybe do 100 or more, just depending on what you want. And so here again, I'm just making sure everything is really nice and tight um, and that everything looks right because I would hate to put a knot in and things are wrong. I think I would just give up and throw it against the wall at that point. <laughs> See, I'm double checking again. I'm making sure that the pattern looks good. And since it's so short, it's a little bit hard to do the knot, but I did um, get it to work. So you see, I'm just adding um, just a little knot right there. Okay, so that was a little tricky, but I got the knot in. I'll run through the pattern uh, with you guys for a second just to make sure you guys got it, just in case you want to try and replicate what I've done here. But... The pot fits perfectly and I'm really excited about it. I'm about to put the plant in it too. Um, and know that even though you've tightened up the beads, like once the pot sits in it, you, you might end up still getting a few little gaps in spaces, but it's fine. Uh, so now the moment of truth, how my little plant looks in there. You know, I got that plant from Ikea like 10 years ago and it's still going strong. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, here it is. It's, it's done. Okay, let's talk about the pattern and the size of beads that I used. All right. Okay, so I just want to run through the pattern with you. Um, so you have one one inch bead at the top. Then you have three 16 millimeter beads. This green one is probably about 16 or 15. I'm not sure because I've had the beads so long. The next one is a one inch. The next uh, three are 16 millimeters then you have the green one again and then you have the one inch after that you have 14 12 millimeter beads okay then you have the green again you have a one inch then you have nine 10 millimeter beads you have a green one you have one inch and then we get to uh, around the pot and we have seven eight millimeter beads one green one we have eight eight millimeter beads and then we have three 20 millimeter beads and then a one inch at the bottom okay See if I can zoom out here so you could just kind of see it all together. But that is the pattern that I used. Um, I know it gets a little, just a little bit tricky around here, but um, just to kind of reiterate, so you have your four strings. Each of these have two pieces of twine going through them. You separate them out here, right? And they're joining with the two that have been separated out here. So this one joins that one. The second of this one joins the first of that one. The second of this one, the first of that one, and so on and so forth. So then it connects, sorry, arms getting tired, connects in a complete circle. And you do the same when you do it here and at the end when I said I just added beads like once I connected each of the sections together I just added some additional beads in order to have it sit flush against the bottom of the pot so hopefully that helps and can't wait to hear about your projects thanks <laughs>